So Roger, what do we got here today? Scott, today we're going to show you how to put together the SRC09, which is the suction cup roof mount. So I'm going to open up the box and uh, see what's inside. So Roger, we've unpacked the box. Um, what do we? What should we have here? Well, you should have 10 components in total, and we're going to go ahead and show you how to assemble the whole product. Great. Roger, what's my first step? First step would be to just assemble your remote handle. Okay, so grab the remote handle. Um, these threads just go together. Screw it together. Yep. And you got, a, you got a lock nut there, yep. so just nip that up tight, and Give you're away to go. with a spanner if I need to. Correct. Uh, but it is it's quite nice and tight there as it is. Your next step, Scott's to assemble the frame. Yep, so I'll grab the main body of the frame. And do I slide that in there? Locate the T piece okay. in, in the end of the top bar. Yep, make sure they're loosened off. Okay. Just tighten them up. And Good finger your, tight. Tighten your thumb screws in position, finger tight. Scott, the next stage is to fit your three suction cups to the whole frame. Yep. So just make sure I've got enough clearance to clear that. You back the wing nuts off so you can clear that. Yep, slide that on. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it loose until I'm ready to tighten everything up. And both those just straight on there. It's looking good. So hey Rog, what are these for? Well Scott, there's two spaces included in the product and they're designed to lift the front end of the rest up. With modern vehicles there's a bit of a curvature on the roof and it just helps you get a proper suction with the frame firmly so I, sitting on the vehicle. So I just lift that up and I place them between the suction cap and the bar. That's correct. To suit my vehicle. That's correct. So Roger, anything else you're going to tell me about using the suction caps? Yeah, there's three key things that you need to keep in mind. Firstly, the surface that you're trying to stick this suction cup bracket to needs to be clean. Yeah. It's a go also a good idea to dampen the actual suction cups to get better adhesion. And in your travels, in using the product, it's advisable to check it at intervals to make sure that you have proper suction on the top of your vehicle. I'll keep those three key points in mind. So Roger, um, we've assembled our suction cup base. We've got to get the remote onto the mounting place. Where do we go from here? Well, you'll need a four mil Allen key, which isn't yep. supplied in the product. And then you simply undo the Allen screws there and away yep. we go. Terrific. So Rog, um, can these mounting plates be used for any other remotes? Well this plate's been specifically engineered for the Max Loom product range, however it can be modified to fit other brands. So Rog, I've done my uh, Allen screws here, the four of them. I've unscrewed the top of the remote from the bottom of the remote, um, so I'm ready to put it onto the mounting plate. The next step with this, Scott, is to make sure the head of the remote is sandwiched on the mounting plate. So we've got the top half of the remote going on top of the mounting bracket, yep. and the locating ring going underneath the plate and screwed into position. We'll give that a go. Stop. So Rog, I've done what you said, I've um, got the Allen head screws, I've tightened them up nice and tight, we've got the top half of the remote, and we're ready to put it onto the bottom half of the remote. Um, that looks like the bushing to go over the ball here. That's right. Okay, so we'll just slide that on uh, loosely, and basically all I need to do is just screw that together. That's correct. So Roger, we've got it all um, screwed together nice and tight. Do you recommend that I uh, assemble that on the plate before mounting it on the suction cap? Yes, very advisable. Mount it on the plate first, and then fit it to your suction cap roof mount. Unit. So now we're ready to put the remote assembly onto the suction cap unit. So Rog, um, I've got my little wing nut there, looks like all I've got to do is um, slide that on and I'm ready to go. Yeah, that's right Scott, just back the thumb screw off, fit it in position and tighten it. Easy as that. Rog, we've got it fully assembled, anything I need to know before I finally go out and shoot? Yeah there is Scott, you've got the flexibility to position this light mounting bracket anywhere in that 180 degree arc. And the other feature on the remote handle is the folding handle and to do that you pull the knurled section down, push your handle away and lock it in position. 